Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about a very, very, very early discussion of summer 2019. We're going to be going over that in a, in a fashion uh, where we're going to go over precipitation and temperatures here. And we're going to be going over te well temperatures first, and we're going to be looking at my analogs, then model guidance, and then NOAA's current outlook. Uh, we're going to use those three things for now. Now, this is subject to change quite a bit. It could change a little bit, could change a lot. This early on, though, there does look to be a bit of confidence here, and things look to agree. So uh, I feel pretty good about how far we are and how much information we have. This is going to be the most accurate information you can find on this summer this far out, whether this is accurate information or not. But it, it should be relatively accurate. Now, firstly, we're going to be looking at our temperature anomalies comparatively to normal on my analogs. My analog years are the same as the ones that I use for my spring forecast, 2015, 2014, and 2005. So the summer of 2005, 2015, and 2014, June through August, June 1st through the end of August. Uh, and this is what this shows. Now, we're going to be seeing kind of a horseshoe shape in the above average temperatures. That you can see the greens and the yellows are above average. We see that extend from the west coast all the way down to the southern United States and then back up the east coast. Uh, and then we see kind of average temperatures there from the Dakotas down through Nebraska, Kansas, Colorado, Wyoming, Utah, the four corner states. That's all looking to be more average. Maybe maybe Oklahoma as well. Uh, portions of Iowa, Minnesota, Montana, areas like that. That's where we're going to be seeing more of the average temperatures or even slightly below average as we're going to see here in a little bit. But really that horseshoe shape of above average temperatures going up the east coast, up the west coast, and down through the southern states. Now, as we look at the uh, model guidance here from the CFS V2, you can see it looks quite similar with the warmer temperatures, again, on the west coast and the east coast, and then kind of colder or average for those central western United States, four corner states up through the Dakotas, uh, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma. Uh, in the southern United States, it doesn't have as much of the horseshoe. It kind of cuts off the bottom part, but we do see a lot of agreement that there will be more average temperatures in the central United States, and warmer than average temperatures on both the coasts. And if you look at NOAA's forecast here, their, co their current seasonal forecast for, uh, again, June through August, you see both coasts are above average with that central United States region being kind of in the below average or average temperatures. So my current thoughts right now is quite similar to this. I think it'll be centered a little bit further west than what NOAA's showing uh, with the average temperatures, but I do agree that we're looking... Uh, most likely that we're going to have above average temperatures on both coasts, followed by somewhere in the central United States setting up with average or below average temperatures. Now on the precipitation, we're going to go with the same fashion, analogs, then onto model guidance, and then onto NOAA's current for forecast. So the precipitation doesn't look quite as confident. Uh, we It's kind of all over the place as you're going to see. And really, I'm not ready to make a prediction on precipitation, to be quite honest, uh, because they are all over the place. Usually, this is the case with springs and summers, and then falls and winters are a little bit more uh, normalized, I guess you could say, where we'll have a, like a, a very big area of above average and a very big area of below average. This is kind of just like splattered all over the map and it's going to be really hard to get any information from this so you can see the little dots of above average and below average precipitation the southern southeastern united states we're looking at uh below average precipitation and i am paying attention to that according to my analogs uh, they do have that 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 looks like it's quite confident in that now we're going to move on to the model guidance and it's kind of the opposite uh but it is splattered all over the place you can see with the greens and the yellow splattered all over the place but it has that southeastern united states kind of in the above average precipitation area so it's thinking the opposite this is what i'm talking about we don't really have a lot of confidence here not a lot of agreement so the precipitation forecast not too confident in uh and then NOAA's forecast again is different from the model guidance or the analogs uh, where they have kind of the northeastern United States and the above average precipitation in the southeastern United States, they're not quite as confident in, and below average in the northwest. Uh, at this point, again, not ready to talk about precipitation. We're going to have many more summer discussions, many more summer forecasts, so make sure to subscribe to this channel if you are interested in this type of video with the seasonal forecast, monthly forecast. I'm going to be making a lot of videos like this one for you guys over the course of the entire year, so I really hope you do consider subscribing for content like this. We're going to go over severe thunderstorm outbreaks, tropical depressions, tropical storms, hurricanes. We're going to be tracking all of those this year, this summer, this fall. I can't wait. It's going to be very exciting, and I hope you're going to subscribe to join and be a part of the ride if you are passionate about weather or if you're just, in general, uh, enjoy watching forecast videos or forecast discussions. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.